Hello everyone, thanks for watching this replay. This is an impromptu scope, didn't plan on it. Good morning everyone, good morning Karen, I know this is an impromptu scope. Um, hey Nancy, hey you're happening right here and I'm getting ready to show you and it's something I do not like and I do not want to happen. I have, uh, good morning Brandy, I have already identified the reinforcer and I'm going to show you why this undesired behavior exists and what I plan on doing and changing it. And this applies to, good morning Kim, this applies to every animal, every person, every being. Hey Katie, okay, so let me show you some things that are happening. I am sitting here making my breakfast, which is on the right, and Willie's reinforcer, which is on the left, which is what I'm getting ready to use to get in her cage because we have a meeting, okay? And what I'm seeing, oh, he's not doing it now because I trained him a little bit, darn it, before he got here. What I was seeing was I sit here, I stand when I eat, and if any food drops on the floor, I have a pig that is a vacuum sweeper, <laughs> okay? So, um... I do not want any food to be dropped or delivered here on the floor because this is what happens. Hey, Crystal. <laughs> he, um, food is right here, dropped on the floor. I turn, I trip on him. This kitchen is not very large. Um, so that's why I teach him to station in the corner. Now, let me tell you, I have identified the reinforcer. I make sure food does not drop right here. I do not like dogs at my feet and pigs at my feet as I'm trying to walk because I trip. Um, our house is not very big. Um, so this is why I trained a station. Now, right before I started the scope, he was right here. And what I did, totally ignored him. And I sat here and I was talking to him even though he has no idea what I'm saying, but I said, ain't happening here, Milo. Food is not gonna be dropped here because I know as long as it's dropped here, it's gonna keep that undesired behavior happening. Now, let me tell you what I saw last week. And yes, best quote ever, I do not like dogs or pig at my feet. <laughs> now, let me tell you what I saw here last week. So I'm getting ready to feed the dogs here. Anyways, my husband comes in here. He walks in here, and here's Milo's treat dish. And he comes over here, and he grabs himself some food or whatever. And he goes like this, oh, here you go. Here's some food. Here's some treats for Milo. I walked in the door and I said, oh, oh no you don't, <laughs> oh no you don't. <laughs> so I know I'm recreating this incident, which is probably gonna make this behavior start happening more, but um, I just wanted to show, yeah, oh Freddie, and his birthday was yesterday, and I'm ratting him out on a live broadcast this morning. Happy birthday, Freddie. <laughs> so anyways, this is the importance. The reason this happens is because once in a while a reinforcer is delivered and when once in a while now I do not call reinforcers rewards and I don't call rewards reinforcers I use the word reinforcer because undesired behavior can be knowingly or unknowingly reinforced all right and if food is dropped here once in a while it'll keep that undesired behavior extremely strong okay good so instead, I reinforce when he's got his butt in that corner. Because if your butt is targeted to the corner, it's not at my feet and I'm not falling over you. Right, Milo? Good. Um, I know I feel like I'm the station queen. Everybody stations. <laughs> it's, because, it's because I'm busy and I'm usually moving and running. Um, but anyways, that's really important. Good. Is when you have an undesired behavior that is being reinforced, if I drop this on the floor once in a while, it will keep the undesired behavior very strong, okay? That is why those undesired behaviors continue to exist, because they serve a purpose for the animal, exclamation point. <laughs> so you can read your, yep, there's no, um, hey Panda, I know I know your first name because I looked you up and I keep forgetting every time I get on here. Ex yes, thank you, Katie, exclamation point, exclamation point. All behavior serves a purpose for the animal. All behavior has a reason for the animal. And the reason my, my camera is shaking is because I'm putting emphasis like this.
this one in behind the camera. Uh, when people tell me the animal does it for no reason, I say, go back and take a look. There is a reason. Um, so, with that being said, we are going to scope two more times today. I am going to attempt to go out and scope. Um, I'm going to attempt to go out and scope and show you how to start training a bird for taking medication. Good, Milo. And we're, oops. Where'd it go? Nice job. He did move from a station. Um, this is what's called generalizing. So I train, he, he's now generalizing to an area. He knows that if his butt is in a certain area, Cheerios magically fall from the sky. Um, I'll be scoping at one o'clock too about our meeting for the upcoming annual event. Anyways, I'm really scared to turn the camera around on me. <laughs> oh, well, that's landscape mode. Um, my name is Laura Joseph. If, if you liked what you saw, feel free to share it with um, your followers, um, especially those who have problems with undesired behaviors with their animals. Show them. If that undesired behavior happens, it is for a reason, and it is because it is being reinforced. Exclamation point. Thank you. Bing. Bam. <laughs> okay, guys, I'll see you in a little bit. If you want to find, follow more of what we do, sign up for our email newsletter list at theanimalbehaviorcenter.com. Good morning, Edward. I'll see you guys in about half an hour um, working with some parrots. Love you too, Katie. Mwah.